now over the phone. He didn't need yours. He just wants you to pay for what you said you agreed to pay for. Mm -hmm. I wish I could your give defense, him back. Your defense, pardon? I said I wish I could give him back. I don't want him. <laughs> you say here, in the event that for any reason we break up or end our relationship, you're going to pay him the money. So your defense is that he got another girlfriend, it and wasn't therefore you shouldn't pay. It was my choice to break up. I had nothing, well, no but control did you, over you, it. Did you wrote this. It says, for any reason. Mm. Well, I didn't recall Did he tell you what to write? That, so. I don't recall. You know, we, both, uh, we wrote it at the same uh, time. You're, you're of age? Yes, sir. You knew what you were writing? Yes. But I had no control over... You have no control over the operation? I had no control over the situation about us breaking up. I mean, what, you know... Did, you want me to read this a third time? Could've, he could've said, Would you like to read it to yourself? Would you like to read it? No. Did you hear what I wrote, read? Yes. For any reason? Mm-hmm. Anything else? I guess not. I guess not. Okay. Judgment for plaintiff for $2,000. We'll hear the litigants' reactions to Judge Wapner's decision right after these messages. Because the, play, the defendant really has no defense, he finds for the plaintiff, Kathy Clark, the defendant has just come out of the courtroom. Were you surprised when he filed a lawsuit against you for this? Yeah, he didn't even come to me and ask, you know, he didn't want to work out anything. Um, you know, I would have been willing to work out something with them, but I guess, you know, he got what he wanted anyway. What's your point, though? I mean, as Judge Wapner said, you, what you're trying to tell him just didn't, didn't hold water, so to speak, in a, well, in a court of law. he's got a new girlfriend with her, you know, big O titties. What does he need mine for? <laughs> the point is, you, you say he broke up with you, and that's why you don't think you owe him the money. Yeah, I had no, no choice and no control over what was going on. Well, I'm sorry to inform you in a court of law. You have no choice here. He wins. Yeah. All righty. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Officer Brell is waiting for you. The plaintiff's on his way out of the courtroom. We never heard any of your part. Of, you know, she, she really didn't have any defense. Did you break up with her? She said uh, she caught you with another girl? Well, I wasn't happy with the relationship, and I knew she was out seeing other guys, but, you know, we, I could never prove that, so I just decided to see other people. She moved out. She wasn't happy with it. You know, and I asked her for the money. I said, can we start making the payments? She's all, you know, it was a gift. And I said, it was never a gift. And, you know, you wrote the paper. And, you know, it's pretty clear cut. But, you know, I kept pressing month after month. And, you know, I filed a case five months after we split up. I mean, it shows I gave an effort, you know, to try and get the money from her. But, you know, she just wasn't, wasn't cutting loose. And there was no way to, you know, else to do it but take her to court. All right. Thank you very much. Officer Brell's waiting for you. And that will bring this case to a conclusion.